Hi everyone. This is an example of an onion expansion under heat. As I've said earlier on, under your heat will have two sections. One will be a expansion and then a, and then the next one will be gas loss. Where you look at charge and boys low, then you will be done. So I'm just gonna do this example. I cited one of the uh, good example from the past papers so I cited this from the past papers and I think it will give you more knowledge regarding your heat and then if you're solving a problem you need to try to understand really the basic theory regarding on your heat what happens with the material when you increase the temperature or when you decrease the temperature understand what is the coefficient of uh, your linear expansion your three coefficients and then also very important the relationship between your three coefficients that, that is all about heat so it's a very simple section. You have a mercury with a volume of uh, 400 uh, millimeter cube in a gas. So let us write our data down. Volume is 400 millimeter cube. And then it is in a gas in a gas flask at a temperature of 16 degrees. Temperature is 16 degrees, and then uh, coefficient of a mercury. And then the coefficient of a gas calculate the increase in volume of a mercury when it is heated to 51 degrees so this is your final temperature so this is what your data which is given so you could see that this is a, the mercury. This is a class containing a mercury. So you have a class containing a mercury. So they are at a 400 uh, millimeter cube combined. So this is the volume of a mercury in the class. They have 400 millimeter cube. Now, uh, say, I know, let me just write, this will be my, This is my mercury. And then this is a class containing a mercury. They both have initial uh, volume of 400. Now, the first question is calculate the increase in volume of a mercury. Okay, let me just solve the problem here. I would say, therefore, volume, so they want to change the volume of a mercury, which will be original volume of a mercury, coefficient of a volume expansion. Remember, I'm keeping a linear expansion, and then change in temperature. So your original volume is 400. Multiply by what is your coefficient of volume expansion of a mercury? So this is a change in a, a, a change increase volume of a mercury. So this is a coefficient of a mercury. It's seven. It's a linear efficient, and then remember. Uh, so I would say three times seven times. 10 exponent negative 5 multiply by 51 minus 16 that is your change in temperature and then you get your change in volume now this 3 you should recall that your coefficient is 3 times your coefficient of expansion is 3 times uh, the coefficient of a linear expansion so that means the volume Coefficient of a mercury is three times this one. The volume, uh, the 
the coefficient of volume expansion is three times the coefficient of linear expansion all the time. I gave you this ratio on my previous video. So you get your answer there. The punch on the calculator. Uh, <coughs> Two point nine four. That is uh, the coefficient of your volume expansion of a vehicle. Now, the next question says calculate the overflow of a mercury in a class. What is the overflow of a mercury? Say now let's analyze this. Uh, if you increase, uh, you added the temperature of 35. The change in temperature is 35 because 51 minus 16, uh, this is 35. So if the temperature is increased by 35 degrees Celsius, because your if you check your coefficient of a linear expansion of a class is smaller than the coefficient of a linear expansion of a mercury. That means that your mercury will expand larger than your class. So because your class is containing a mercury, some, the moment your class stops to expand, uh, that extension of a, of a mercury is your overflow. Assume now, when you add your 35 degrees Celsius of your temperature, this is a change in uh, that is an overflow. This is an expansion of. So this is an expansion of a mercury. So. This is an expansion of a class. So I would say. This is. A change in the. Of a class. With the original length, they are equal. Then, uh, when it expands, you make your, your class expand and then it stops. This is your final, ex, uh, this is a, your final change in length of a class. So as it ends here, because of its coefficient of an expansion, your mercury will continue. It will pass through this point. This is the expansion of my mercury. So the class will be able to contain a mercury up to this point. From this position, going forward, this is an overflow. And then, uh, from the original length to that position, it's a change in length of a mercury. Now, the difference between the volume of your class and your mercury will give you the overflow. Because it's supposed to contain it up to this point. But your, your mercury continue to expand because it has a big coefficient of your linear expansion. Now, what would be your overflow? That means your overflow will be equal to change in volume of a mercury minus change in volume of a class. You already have a change in volume of a mercury. All you need to do now is to get a change in volume of a class. Therefore, my change in volume of my class would be my original volume, which is 400 times 3 times 10 times 10 exponent negative 6 times 35, which is a change in T. Then you get your change in volume of a class. Zero comma four two millimeter cube. Therefore, your overflow is equal to changing volume of a mercury minus changing volume of a class, which is a 2.94 minus 
zero point four two. It is a it is an overflow, and then this is how you solve your problem. So this is how easy it is. You just have to understand uh, your theoretical background. What is the coefficient of the next question? What does it mean if you have two material and then they have a different coefficient? So you just play around with your three equations there, which you derive your three coefficients. They are very important. Combined with your ratios, your relationship. In terms of ratio between those three coefficients, that's all. I hope we understand this problem. It was one of the past papers. I think it's 2019 uh, past paper. You have this problem, and then I have more problems. If you meet more, then you can meet on a comment section. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, if you did enjoy my video, please subscribe. And then uh, do recommend to other students this uh, engineering channel. Uh, thank you so much. We we'll meet again on on my case laws in the last session, which I do, which will be the next video. I will do a lesson in the uh, uh, the example on the case laws as well. Thank you.